Figure AI just revealed its lofty goal for mass producing advanced humanoid robots. Is it realistic? Also, Neuralink has crossed over into robotics. One X Technologies just acquired a unique robotic startup and Unitree's mesmerizing Lunar New Year display. Also, is this okay? Let me know in the comments. What? Oh! On the X social media platform, figure founder Brett Edcock said the Silicon Valley startup has signed its second commercial customer. Adcock did not name the customer, but said it's one of the largest companies in the United States. With the development, Adcock said he sees a path for shipping up to 100,000 humanoid robots over the next four years. The target is significantly lower than Elon Musk's vision of manufacturing a million Tesla bots by 2028. However, Musk has admitted the target is aspirational. The normal internal plan calls for roughly 10,000 Optimus robots to be built this year. Will we succeed in building 10,000 exactly by the end of December this year? Uh, probably not, we, 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 but, I, but will we succeed in making several thousand? Yes, I think we will. Um, will those several thousand Optimus robots be doing useful things by the end of the year? Yes, I'm confident they will do, they will do useful things. Figure would need to produce around 1,000 humanoids in 2025 to stay on the road to 100,000 units. That is possible as evidenced by Ajibot, a younger Chinese startup that says it manufactured an initial thousand robots in 2024. Figure is developing a next generation robot, presumably called the Figure 3, that is optimized for high rate manufacturing. This January, a fleet of Figure 2 robots started working full time at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, which is the automaker's largest manufacturer by volume. Adcock said Figure's focus is on vertical growth within a few key accounts rather than aggressive expansion. OpenAI-backed Figure is running an end-to-end -end neural network for the new client's use case, which will be used for AI training. The startup also just announced the creation of its Center for the Advancement of Humanoid Safety. According to Figure, the initiative focuses on testing for key safety factors like stability, human-pet interaction, AI behavior, and autonomous navigation. Figure says it's also finalizing plans with an OSHA-recognized independent testing lab to certify their robots, batteries, functional safety control systems, and electrical systems to industrial standards. Another open AI-backed startup, 1X Technologies, just acquired Kind Humanoid. Financial terms of the deal were not disclosed. Christoph Kostel, a former Google robotics researcher, founded Kind Humanoid out of a small garage in Palo Alto. In 2024, Kind Humanoid teamed up with industrial design firm Fuse Project to create an AI-powered robot for versatile tasks in healthcare and homes. They drew inspiration from René Magritte, a 20th century artist known for painting everyday objects in unusual contexts. Instead of a human-like face, the kind humanoid features a visor displaying animations of clouds and skies with floating eyes to express intent and emotion. Norway-based 1X is testing a limited number of its neo-humanoid robots at homes. They're aiming to manufacture hundreds of the robots in 2025 and potentially scale to a million by 2028. To get there, 1X is building out a facility in Moss, Norway for actuator manufacturing and robot assembly. Meanwhile, Elon Musk's Neuralink just posted this short video suggesting that its brain-computer interface can now control robotic components. The robotic arm in the video writes the word convoy which is the name of the Neuralink study the FDA approved in November 2024. The project seeks to expand the N1 brain implant's functionality into robotics. Neuralink calls the development an important first step toward restoring not only digital freedom, but also physical freedom. Neuralink has ambitious goals, aiming for hundreds of implants over the next few years and millions in a decade. Three people have received implants as part of clinical trials. They've used the device to use computers, play video games, learn new languages, and even design 3D models with Autodesk software. 
Neuralink is actively scaling up the production of its devices, seeking to transition from research and development to broader clinical use. Musk has said he envisions Neuralink eventually integrating with Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot. Well, well you, we also, you also be able to talk to Optimus, but like... <laughs> uh, why not just beam it? <laughs> but you could just, yeah, instead of talking, you could, just, you could just beam it directly, or if... If someone has lost the use of speech, then then they can still communicate to an Optimus. Uh, they, they can communicate telepathically to Optimus or by Bluetooth. Um, and um, and and so even if someone has you know completely lost the ability to speak, they could still uh, con control Optimus or their computer or phone. We also like. And finally, details are emerging about Unitree's viral humanoid robot performance at the Spring Festival Gala, China's most watched TV show. 16 Unitree H1 full-sized humanoids danced alongside real people for the high-tech performance. More than a billion people viewed the broadcast. Decked out in floral red and white vests, the robots performed a traditional Chinese folk dance. According to the South China Morning Post, Alibaba Cloud powered the performance, providing AI-driven real-time spatial processing. The AI enabled the robots to synchronize with the music, processing high-frequency spatial data in real-time to adjust positioning. Unitree's smaller humanoid, the G1, and its quadrupeds also appeared in backstage footage shared by the robotics firm. The G1 also just went viral thanks to popular Twitch streamer Kai Sinet. Handshake, 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 the footage sparked discussions online about bullying robots. Some expressed discomfort, saying that even though it's a machine, the actions appeared sinister. However, the abuse is mild compared to what Unitree's robots endure in its own marketing videos. We low-key can't do fun, I ain't gonna lie, it's weird, bro. Like, I would think if I spent this much money on something, I'll be able to do whatever I want to it, but it's not, a, it's not, a, it's not a intention for me to just bully it. That's not my first intention. China's AI-powered robots played a prominent role in 2025 Lunar New Year festivities. China kicked off its festivities as the West assessed the fallout from DeepSeek's new open-source AI model that reportedly matches ChatGTP's reasoning capabilities with a lot less computing power. For a rundown on how China's robots celebrated the new year, check the related videos.